Hello YouTube, welcome back to Let's Play Airline Club. Let's see how Diagonal Airways is doing. Let's uh, fix this red route first. That seems like a problem. What's this? This is to just north of Mumbai. So it seems like we don't have enough passengers. We could try to decrease the price or the capacity. Let's try decreasing the price a bit. And then what we might also want to do is make sure that those passengers have somewhere to go. So this is an open market, so they can go from there to somewhere else. Let's see where they are going now. By clicking view passenger map. Always takes a while to calculate where all the passengers are going. But now it's shown up. Okay, so what's happening? So... Wait, where is all this traffic coming from? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So what's happening here is we see the traffic from uh, Bahrain to Daman in India, north of Mumbai. And what's happening is that there are 29 passengers taking that route. But many, some of them are coming from Belgrade. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Three of them are coming from Belgrade, in Europe. But, as you can see here, 29 of them are coming from Daman, which is Dubai, I, be I believe. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah, from Dubai. The 26 are coming from Dubai. That's it. And they are coming from all over the world. So that's what's going on. So this connection to Dubai is pretty important. And then, because even from Singapore they're going to Dubai, etc. So if we check the other route, from India to Bahrain, then there one is continuing to Belgrade, but the rest stays in uh, Bahrain. Okay, so if we want to generate more traffic to India, maybe we should increase the capacity of our flight from Bahrain to Dubai. No, that's not correct, because they were coming from this airport. So that wouldn't help. We would have to fly to that big airport over there. Um, what else can we do? Then, I guess, in decreasing the price is all we can do. So that's what we did, right? The price was 193, now it's 116. Okay. And uh, it might turn out that it's not profitable to fly to India. That's a possibility. This route has a small uh, negative profit. There should be a word for that, but I forgot. Uh, small loss is making a small loss. So let's increase the price, actually, and the capacity. We can increase the price because it's full. In fact, let's increase it even a bit more. Right, so that uses up two of our slots and we have two remaining. So let's um, check our route uh, in the other direction. This way, for example, to Kuwait. Let's increase the capacity there as well. And as I said before, my rule of thumb, which doesn't always hold, but sometimes it does, is that if the profit is about half the value of the revenue, or if the revenue is about twice as big as the profit, then uh, it's fine. You, if you try to increase a lot, uh, increase the ticket price a lot more, then people will think it's too expensive. So that's something to aim for, at least for the richer countries. For poor countries, it's it's quite different. Uh, then you cannot generate that much profit. Okay, uh, this route is also making a loss, but it is full. So let's just increase the price. And although there is a uh, competitor here, Sinalco. So then, oh, but we're still not even close to his price. So yeah, we can increase it. And the quality of the flight is 43, while his quality is 50, but our price is slightly lower. Yeah, this should be fine. Uh, so basically, if you, if uh, the quality is way too low, is is much. If my quality was much lower, like 10 or something, then uh, I might have to ask for a really low price in order to only attract the cheap passengers because the richer pa passengers they would just choose the other uh, choose the choose to fly with the competitor 
Okay, and this one is also making a small loss, so let's increase the price here because it's full. And then this one to Qatar, same story. Increase the ticket price. We're still below the price of our competitor. Okay. Then we have a lot of green. Let's not touch that for now. We'll keep it as is. As is. Cyprus is making profit, but barely to Syria. But I think this was one of those routes that was pretty difficult to uh, to get a profit on. So let's just keep it like this for now. And this one is also going to Syria, but it, the profit is not so high because there were some cancellations. We do have three slots in Rhodes Island. That's good to know. We also have quite some money. You know what we're going to do? We're going to buy a bigger airplane. So, for example, to Athens, that route is very profitable. Don't think it's the most profitable route. We can check that. The most revenue, no, the most profit, is the one from Manama to Kuwait City. But yeah, the one to Athens is the second one. What we will do is we will buy a bigger airplane. Um, one that fits more people. So this one, for example, is pretty fast. Uh, we can afford this one, which holds 48 people. Distance is not too big, but I think to Athens it's a really short distance. So yeah, that is uh, 404 kilometers. So we can pick an airplane that has a very low m max range, but uh, has other uh, good stats like high capacity, high speed, uh, long lifespan, low fuel burn. So this one we quite cannot afford. So maybe this one, also not. We could also take a loan. Oh, we can borrow a lot of money. Okay, so if we would want this one, we would need about 10,000 more. It has a capacity of 90. It has enough range for the flight to Athens. Burns a lot of fuel though, uh, but it's, and it's not that fast. But yeah, the capacity is just so good. It would give us a lot of slots. Let's let's just do it. I have never used this uh, plane before, but let's just do it. We will buy uh, borrow. Uh, a bit, uh, we need ten mil million. Let's borrow a bit more just to be sure. In fact, let's borrow fourteen so we can buy some small planes if necessary. And uh, I've read on the forums that it's good to take this last loan. Uh, that that loan will uh, take more time to pay back. And the interest rate is higher, but the weekly payments are so much lower because you just have so much more time to pay it back. Let's do that. Let's buy this Bombardier Q400. We could buy a second hand, but let's not do that. Oh yeah, it takes eight weeks to be delivered. That's a disadvantage. But yeah, so we cannot use it right away. We'll have to wait now. So we can see here, uh, it's being delivered in eight weeks from now. So as soon as it is delivered, that will be uh, tomorrow in uh, real, uh, in real, real life time, real time. Uh, then we can um, replace this Cessna caravan with that bigger plane, and then we will need much fewer slots. Because we have so, we are using so many slots now. Okay, why is this orange? Some cancellations. Okay, this one is also there were also some cancellations. Let's do Lyon. Uh, the three remaining slots now we will invest in uh, flying to Rome, Munich. Maybe a new route. Yeah, we still have a lot of possible regional routes. Uh, yeah, maybe to Switzerland or something. Zurich. Financial hub and international hub. Let's see if we have the range. Uh, we don't have a plane, but that's wh why I borrowed a bit extra. Purchase a Cessna caravan and fly there. Start with a lower price. All right. So now we're flying to Switzerland. So yeah, the, the diagonal airway is looking good. Uh, we have one million left. Let's, mm, yeah, we could invest that in a small plane, but I don't like these ones too much. 
Although, yeah, they're, they're okay, but we only have Cessna caravans now. Uh, and we need, we might need some money uh, the next time. So yeah, this is it. When uh, the plane arrives, the big plane, the Bombardier, we will uh, use it to fly to Athens. That will generate more profit as well, It'll give us more slots that we can use for the other routes. And then, uh, and then hopefully we can uh, try to increase our reputation by, uh, yeah, how, how will we do that? By uh, investing in this route over here. Uh, so we might need to upgrade this airport at some point, which costs 11 million. It's a bit expensive, but uh, as we will generate more profit, it should be possible. Okay, well, that's it for now. Oh, I forgot. At least one route I should show the how the passengers are flying. Let's check that out with this very short route over here to Turkey from Rhodes Island. Because the passenger map is just such a cool feature, seeing where all the passengers are coming from. It takes a while to calculate sometimes, but uh, as it happens, it's very cool. Also, uh, we don't have it now, but if there's any orange on the passenger map, that's uh, th those are the passengers that fly um, with airlines that are in your alliance. You see here there's an alliance system that I haven't touched uh, up till now. Might uh, look at that next time if I don't forget. So that's, uh, but other than that, purple is our airline and gray is other airlines. So yeah, where are they coming from? Well, from all the routes we have over here, but also from, uh, first from uh, Italy to Athens, for example, or from Crete to Athens and then to Rhodes Island. So that's where they're coming from. Also one route over here from Atlanta, North America, to Rome, and then from Rome to Athens. So then they fly over here, and then from there they fly to Shenzhen, which is China, I think, and uh, Bucharest in the, the Balkans in Romania, and they fly from, they first go uh, from here. And the other way, from Antalya to, is it Antalya? Yeah, from Antalya to Rhodes Island, uh, they go from Europe to Antalya, or to Istanbul, from Istanbul to Antalya, from Antalya to Rhode Island, and then they take our uh, flights to uh, the places we are connected to. So that's the passenger map. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.